And now, First Warn 5 Weather with meteorologist Andrew Chung. Welcome back, everyone. It is feeling pretty nice out there for this Saturday evening. We did see some more clouds early this morning and then some more sunshine for this afternoon. And yes, it was warm today, but not too humid. Thanks to winds coming from the northeast. It's going to be a pretty nice morning tomorrow when you wake up as the temperatures will be in the upper 60s. Right now, the temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s. 70 of 40 in West Loco, 79 in McAllen, 75 in Harlingen, and 76 in Brownsville. So look at this. You'll like this at 8 o'clock in the morning. 70, nice morning very mild, mostly sunny, and there are the keywords, folks, not humid during the day, especially for the afternoon, mostly sunny with temperatures in the mid 80s at noon and upper 80s at 5 p.m. All right, here's the latest on Irma. This is as of the uh, 10 p.m. Central Time Advisory from the Hurricane Center. It is a Category 3 hurricane with maximum winds of 120 miles an hour, moving to the northwest at 6 miles an hour, the eye about 80 to 90 miles to the southeast of Key West, Florida. There's the forecast track. The Hurricane Center is now thinking thinking Irma will make landfall in the lower Florida Keys or Key West early tomorrow morning as a Category 3 hurricane down from before, but in any case, any case, still a destructive hurricane, and then making a second landfall in southwest Florida around Fort Myers later in the day on Sunday, then heading up the west coast toward Tampa Bay, Florida, then toward North Florida for Monday, eventually moving into Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee, bringing very heavy rain. Now, even though the forecast cone excludes the east coast of Florida, the east coast from Miami, to Orlando, Jacksonville will see some very heavy rain and very strong winds as well because this is a very big storm. Here's a radar. You can see those rain bands. The most destructive winds are in that eye wall shown in the red and the yellow around the eye. We put the mark here about 80 to 90 miles to the south uh, east of Key West moving uh, to the west northwest. So some of those rain bands have been pummeling South Florida. They've reported some tornadoes already in the Miami Fort Lauderdale area because uh, South Florida is on that right front quadrant of that hurricane. More rain bands also moving through Fort Myers, West Palm Beach, Fort Pierce, and eventually heading toward Orlando and Tampa. All the Florida Peninsula under a hurricane warning indicated in red. And right behind we have Hurricane Jose, maximum winds of 130 miles per hour. Jose is a Category 4 hurricane moving to the northwest at 14 miles an hour. So here's San Juan, Puerto Rico. It is moving off to the northwest, expected to head into the western Atlantic, then maybe making a loop the loop according to the Hurricane Center by the start of next week in Ling ring over the western Atlantic Ocean. Back home here in the valley, small craft should use caution overnight for the offshore Gulf waters. We'll have winds under the northeast at 10 to 15 knots. The bay waters are moderate chop. Next tide is a low tide at 1241 in the morning. Watch out for some minor coastal flooding thanks to the winds coming from the northeast at 10 to 15 and the rip current risk remains high. Seas are 3 to 7 feet. So for tonight, very nice night folks. Mostly clear and mild with lows in the upper 60s. Then for tomorrow, mostly sunny. Yes, it is warm, but not very very humid thanks to winds coming from the north to northeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour, 91 the magic number. So enjoy the low humidity and mild mornings as the temperatures each morning in the mid to upper 60s through Wednesday because the humidity returns by Thursday along with hotter temperatures mid 90s Wednesday and Thursday upper 90s for next Friday. That's your first Warren 5 forecast. We shall be back after this.